hello students hope all of you are doing good so in today's lecture we will learn what soft skills are okay so soft skills are essentially called people skills the non technical intangible then personality specific skills that determine one's strengths as a leader as a uh, as a negotiator then a listener maybe as a conflict mediator okay so soft skills is a term which refers to personality traits social graces facility with language personal habits then friendliness and optimism that mark people to varying degrees understood so soft skills cannot be taught however it can be developed through proper and continuous training okay so soft skills are very important in businesses it is also essential to be technically sound but one should have the ability to convey the idea to the masses in the simplest possible manner so planning is necessary but execution is also equally important and for this reason soft skills are necessary to execute any idea because it involves dealing with people directly understood so now we will learn the basic difference between what a uh, soft skills are and what hard skills are okay so in any job interview or in any application employers look for applicants with both hard and soft skills understood and the candidates who become successful later on they try to show off both their hard skills and soft skills during the selection process so in order to do this effectively it helps to understand the difference between the hard skills and soft skills so hard skills are teachable abilities or skill sets that are easy to quantify understood these hard skills include proficiency in foreign language it can be a degree or it can be a certificate okay then if you can operate any machine or you can do any programming these are included under hard skills understood understood now what are soft skills soft skills on the other hand are subjective skills and which are a little more difficult to quantify so soft skills relate to the way you deal with other people like it includes your communication skills it can be your flexibility your leadership skills your positivity so understood what are soft skills and what are hard skills soft skills cannot be taught whereas hard skills are generally taught to a person soft skills are inborn and it can be practiced with time understood now in this slide you can see there are few examples of hard skills and soft skills like as i already told hard skills are teachable they are specific and it shows your ability which are the things you can do whereas soft skills are the skills which are required to deal with other people like communicating listening your leadership skills your flexibility understood so this is all about the difference between the hard skill and soft skill now we will learn how to practice some soft skill you must know this okay so here are some tips so what is the first point which you should remember while practicing your soft skill is to have a positive attitude okay 
so we have all heard that it is better to see the glass half full instead of half empty you know the meaning of this right it shows your positivity and in the workplace this type of positive thinking can go a long way understood so an overall positive outlook leads to an overall positive attitude and that can be a valuable asset in your work environment so the key to have a positive attitude is how you tackle obstacles and challenges that come your way for example instead of complaining about a stressful workload think about it as an opportunity to show off your abilities by getting through it productively and efficiently understood so the next way to practice your soft skill is to working in a team or your team work how you are efficient in working in a team so employers love an employee who displays the ability to work well in groups and in teams okay so being a team player means not only being cooperative but also displaying strong leadership ability when it is appropriate okay you should not always show your leadership ability only show it whenever it is applicable like when a conflict arises within your team take the initiative to mediate when you find your team getting stuck in a project take the lead to move things forward try to be more collaborative in the work you do and build professional relationships with your co-workers okay so you know that today's world is very technological driven and innovations are very welcome here so in this scenario it has become mandatory to train the employees in all spheres of management so team building is one of the crucial areas in which employees need to be trained okay now the next point in which we should focus is to communicate or our communication skill so good communication skills are essential everywhere you know that right so communication is what allows you to build bridges with coworkers persuade others to adopt your ideas and express your needs okay so many small things that you already do like uh, having a um, uh, good communication with your colleagues with your seniors with your juniors whoever needs to discuss something or consult something with you so you should be open to everybody you should communicate or mingle with everybody here and for communication skills you need to do few things like you should maintain a good eye contact okay whenever somebody is talking to you you should avoid your body movements okay and do not show that you are talking only for the sake of talking okay always have a point always justify your opinion understood then your grammar should be flawless there should not be any grammatical mistake in your speech understood whatever i have spoken up till now and moreover the ability to communicate ideas to others effectively is an absolutely necessary requirement to excel in your work understood so um, it is required for it professionals then engineers and other professionals in other departments as well now the next skill which we need to sharpen our soft skill is the confidence so you have to exude confidence in whatever work you are doing 
so in almost every situation where you are trying to impress another person confidence is the key remember this so while it's important to accept your limitations and act humble when you receive praise it is almost it is also important to acknowledge your strengths and embrace them so make sure you have the knowledge and skills to back up your confidence so only having confidence or only having over confidence will not do you should also have the skills to show your confidence you should know the work what you are doing so if you are acting confidently in some of your job responsibilities are also following you remember this okay next is the creativity or developing creative skills so creativity and imaginative thinking are valued in every kind of work okay even the most technical positions require the ability to think outside the box so never underestimate the power of innovative problem solving whenever you are handed a tedious task try to tackle them in a way that allows you to complete it more efficiently okay when a problem comes along with you do not be reluctant to solve it go for it grab the opportunity for a creative solution but in case if it does not work learn it as a lesson and think that at least you do not have to repent that you haven't tried right now the next slide is about criticism like criticism is also necessary as praise is necessary criticism is equal in this so this is one of the most challenging soft skills which is why it is typically one of the most impressive to employers your ability to handle criticism says a lot about your willingness to improve and being able to criticize the work of others constructively is just as important so be aware of how defensive you get in reaction to negative feedback never reject a piece of constructive criticism completely without acknowledging that at least part of it is helpful and when you criticize anybody else make sure it is done with a reason with a proper justification understood you should not criticize any other person without any reason or without any justification you should have valid points behind your criticism next is motivation you should motivate yourself you should motivate your team members you should motivate your colleagues while you are working for any project maybe understood so it is important for an employer to know that you are a self starter who takes initiative this means constantly seeking out new ways to keep your job interesting and motivational even if it seems repetitive it can seem repetitive but you have to continuously motivate yourself to work it properly here creativity plays a very big role okay but there is more to motivation than than just taking it easily have the courage to pursue those ideas you have stuck stuck in the back of your mind and have the dedication to follow through them and be successful understood now the next is very important this one is the to do list what do i mean by making a to do list i mean that you have to prioritize things 
by making a to do list it is a list of things which you have to do so in today's workplace a good employee is expected to be able to shuffle different assignments and projects at once right so you should be good at tracking the progress of different projects you have been handed to work on you should also know how to prioritize what is most important okay and prioritizing things make make you a very good planner understood the next is time management so in the previous slide we learned how to make a to do list right so making a to do list enables you to manage time properly you have to even make or set personal goals personal deadlines to manage your time time is limited to 24 hours it is not it can't be extended so you have to manage yourself according to the time you have to complete your work within the time the next is the stress management to sharpen your soft skills you have to even manage your stress stress can hamper your work stress can hamper your body and stress can even um defer your work you won't be able to complete your work within the stipulated time so it is better to keep stress away not being nervous or not being tensed you have to prioritize things and focus on your work so soft skills is up to this thank you